In this video, we are going to simulate length extension mode in a piezoelectric material using Comsol. For a piezoelectric material, the resonant frequency of length extension mode is given by the formula F0 is equal to 1 by 2L root of E by rho, where F0 is the resonant frequency, L is the length, E is the Young's modulus of the material, and rho is the density of the material. Now we can see in Comsol how to simulate the length extension mode. Once you open Comsol, you will see the model wizard and the blank model. In this, you have to click the model wizard. Since we are simulating a 3D model, we select 3D. Here in select physics, we have to select structural mechanics and then press done. Now, here, here we have to select the geometry. So, we are making a block here. So, we select block. And so, but before that, you will have to mention the unit. So, uh, usually for, uh, if we want to get high frequency, we will be using micro range also this is a scale which is used in mems devices mems is mems means a micro electro mechanical systems so here we make the uh, the block that is the piece of material that we from for which we want to do the length extension mode so here i give the width of the block to be uh, thousand and I give a uh, depth uh, 200 and the height of 5 uh, this uh, you can give according to what you want then once we are done with making the block we have to give what is the block material also, you can see that uh, in console, you have to also give uh, which axis, like uh, which, uh, like the coordinates of x, y, and z. So here I have given it, just set it to 0, 0, 0. Uh, for example, if I want to add one more block, then I will have to, and if I want to place that block at maybe on top of this block, then I'll have to give the Z as 5 here. Then only it will come on top of the block. So each block we have to assign based on the coordinates. So now I'll have to give a material to the block. So for that I'll, I right click this then add material. So in the material we have to select a piece of material. So you can select any material from this list. There is aluminum nitride, barium, titanate, cadmium, sulfide, lithium nitride, like that many materials are there. In this I am selecting zinc oxide. So uh, the material zinc oxide and for that particular material I selected one. So this is one C. So it has automatically come. So if, if I want to add one more material to it or like if I want to put one more material on top of this then like that I click right click on this click on block and add one more material like that and then if I want and that material if it is not zinc oxide I, I go to materials and then once I click this I can give maybe two the second material will be two for I can just show you that example see if I just add one more block here and uh, I give uh, the almost same dimensions 1000 uh, 200 and height of 5 so here as I said I should give the Z as 5 because already the top the down material has a height of 5 so I want it above it that's why I'm giving 5 and then in the metal section 
I add one more material so there I can maybe give silicon but usually uh, people uh, give silicon as substrate here for I'm just showing an example so uh, so I'm just putting it on top so I just select MEMS in this you can uh, semiconductor in the silicon so you see, can see here so silicon has been added and so so they yeah, I have to click on which material I want to which block I want to select the silicon material so I have selected the top block see now it is two so the now the top block is silicon and the bottom bot bottom one is zinc oxide so for this example I we know I don't need this so I'm just deleting this and the second block also so this is just an addition to uh, so like if you want more layers how to do it that's so that's why I mentioned that and then after we have reached here then you have to do the yeah we have to give a voltage right to to get a length extension board so here I'll have to go to uh, go to study there I'll have to click after statics So in heterostatics, then heterostatics comes here. Then I right click it. From here, I have a potential. So here I am giving a one volt. You can give uh, according to what you want. And so where have where am I giving that one volt? So I am giving it in the top layer. So there, there I have given the I have attached the one volt on top and I have, I have to attach ground at the bottom right so for that it take ground and then I attach ground to the bottom there so after this I create mesh in mesh I uh, I am here. I am creating a free title It's according to your wish, and then build the mesh. So now we are moving to the study. That is how to find the length extension mode. So for that, we take the study. Go to study. There we select the eigen frequency. So here you can see you can uh, give the desired number of icon frequency like it here it will like check our six frequencies so he, we can give a more number of frequency I am giving it 20 or maybe even more so 30 I mean. so example so initially I have told you how to find the icon frequency right the resonant frequency so that you can they are asking you search around an eigen frequency so we have found so with the young's modulus and the density and the length by using the formula f is equal to 1 by 12 root of e by rho we have we get the eigen frequency to be around 2.48 for 8 megahertz so i give here 2.48 megahertz so it will search around that frequency so like it will take 30 points around this to find which is the correct eigen frequency so once we are done with that now we can we are, then we have to check whether we have yeah also one more thing we we also have to give the add one more study which is the solid mechanics because we need to give like whether the material is isotropic or anisotropic right so for that I take solid mechanics and give 
inner elastic material and the material uh, the, this is the one this is the only material we are taking here so that is zinc oxide and then we give here anisotropic it is just taking some time okay so then we check whether in zinc oxide all the material properties are there okay it looks fine uh, why we are checking means because in some material this relative permittivity or density or some other factors won't be there so in that case we have to see whether everything is fine and then i i compute like compute So here I need to look at the mode shape right we want to see the length extension mode right so so see these are the different frequencies I have I have kept 30 frequencies so it has sweeped around 30 different frequencies so then I search so I am looking at changing different and see for which one I have got the length extension at what frequency so I am expecting it around 2.48 megahertz so let's see where we are getting this length extension mode ah see we have got it around 2.3587 megahertz so this is the length extension mode so if you want to see the length extension you can go to animation and click the player so so you see this is how so you can see there you have seen right the length extension mode happening this is how we simulate a length extension mode in Comsol. this is a very simple example in actual device there may be a substrate angles and other stuff that you can do by adding more blocks like uh, what i had shown in the beginning of the video and there can also be some uh, fixed constraint given to the angles so uh, this is all in this video, thank you.